June was a really busy month for me and one of the things that made it busy was a trip with my sister to explore the third longest lava tube in North America. And wouldn't you know it, I ended up getting my period. I had already planned on using my lolly cup. I knew it was going to be comfortable and it has a great capacity uh, that I knew was going to last me several hours, but with all of the movements in the cave and not having any source of light besides what we took with us, um, I wanted to have some backup. And I did receive a package from Kelly's Cloth a couple of days before we left and I thought that was going to be a great opportunity to use the these pads to like the fullest extent that I probably ever will in my life. So if you're interested to hear a little bit more about my spelunking adventures with the lolly cup and Kelly's cloth, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So as I was saying, uh, I did plan on using my lolly cup already and uh, I was just kind of worried that I would leak or overflow, not so much leaking because I've I've never leaked with a lolly cup, but climbing, shimmying, uh, scooting, and spinning on my belly, and all the types of movements that I did in this cave, uh, I was a little bit worried about leaking. Um, I had never m moved that much using any of my cups, um, so I did want to have something to back me up just in case. I do follow the motto, pack in, pack out, which means whatever I took with me into the cave, I also wanted to bring it back out. Uh, that made emptying my cup in the cave something that I wasn't going to do. That was another reason for using a cloth pad. Um, that way I can absorb whatever leaked or overflowed and pack that into my backpack and use another one if I needed to. I took three different sizes of the Kelly's cloth with me, which is the seven and a half inch, eight and a half inch, and the 11 inch pads. These are uh, topped with a flannel. I like flannel because it just feels comfy to me and I I feel like they absorb faster. Um, and these just have an anti-pill fleece in the back. They do offer these pads with a uh, pool fabric or a waterproof liner barrier. Uh, I'm not sure if it's exposed or if they hide it. So while I was in the cave, I used the largest size, which was the 11 inch. I wanted the most absorbency that I could have and the longest area to cover. These do have a Zorb core, uh, but the Etsy listing doesn't specify which Zorb they use, uh, but I know that Zorb is very absorbent, so I felt that it was going to be enough for me. Let's go down to the table and take a little closer look at the Kelly's Cloth reusable cloth pads. Here is the seven and a half inch liner. It is the exposed core type, so it was made in two different pieces. This printed pad and then a backer, and then they're sewn together. So it has these wings and they fold over and under your underwear. Um, and the gusset on this is approximately two and a quarter. Here is the eight and a half inch pad. Uh, it's more of an all-in-one type and there's only one uh, snap on each of these. I'm not sure if they offer to add a second snap to make the gusset a little uh, more narrow, but maybe you can ask if that's what you're looking for. So if I fold this one over, the gusset on this one is approximately two and a half inches. 
Here is the 11 inch pad and this design has a side that is a little longer and a little wider than the other side and with these designs you can um, face the larger side to where you need more protection. If you're a front bleeder or a back bleeder you can put this uh, larger area facing that side. The gusset on the 11 inch pad is approximately two and three quarters wide. Again, if you need something with a narrow gusset, you might be able to request that for a small fee. All of these pads do feel pretty thin, but again, they do have a Zorb core. The stitching on these pads are well done. There's not a whole bunch of missed stitches or threads that I needed to trim off. I do want to note that I have washed these pads four times, uh, five times for the eight inch pad because I used it with the Luma cup and then I washed it so that I could take it with me on my trip. They've held up well in the wash. Uh, I did have some old blood with the small liner and so it stained brown for a little bit um, and the stain stick took it right out. In the end, I really didn't need backup. The lolly cup held up uh, for over eight hours. After the caves, we did some other stuff so I didn't get to empty my cup right away. Um, but that doesn't mean that I didn't get to fully test the Kelly's cloth. Um, well, not with absorbency, at least not yet, because I didn't leak onto them. Uh, but the pads stayed put with all of my movements. And uh, let me tell you, I did a lot of movements. Anyhow, if I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you have ever been camping or hiking or just even on your daily walk, uh, if you've come across any type of menstrual product, um, either a wrapper, an applicator, the actual pad or tampon, anything like that. Until I see you next time, take care.